good whatever your time zone is i hope you're having a good whatever your time zone is but enough of the introduction so because what we've got served on the slice of life today is well apparently everybody decided to do interesting things while i was away how great that i missed critical news cough cough hear my sarcasm but jokes aside biden has stepped down supposedly you know the same person who's been saying over and over again that he isn't stepping down is now the same person who has made an impersonal post over on x a typed up piece of paper photographed and then posted with an inconspicuous signature that debatably has the letter n if you squint really hard and tilt your head left then it does look like an n but the rest of the signature looks fine except some people have called out the weird difference, that being the underlining of his name, cause, you know, Biden really felt the need to make sure that you knew the document was coming from him. But like, really, can we can we talk about the sideways N here? Every other document with his signature looks okay with a proper N, but this one, he just felt a bit quirky and ooh-woo by doing an oopsie whoopsie sideways N like that. Is this a new symptom of COVID that miraculously changes specifically the letter N for some reason? Sorry, but I just really had to point that out before transitioning into another coincidental change, that being the ever-known Haktua 9000 being Harry Sissons, who made one post about Biden leaving before immediately moving over to being Kamala Harris's spank bank. Oh, sorry, whoops, my mistake. He made one other video to mark his final slurp of that man milk from Joe Biden. But since then, he's consistently being bent over for the prosthesis from Kamala. Okay, okay, I'll quit. Yeah, that's a lie. Uh, but for now, it is not. Because it would appear that everyone is in agreement with how that document is suspicious. Even Trump is by effect saying that when he says... It is not over. Tomorrow, crooked Joe Biden's gonna wake up and forget that he dropped out of the race today. And then we've also got uh, Charlie Kirk saying pretty much the same thing. When was the last time someone saw Joe Biden? And look, if this is real, if Joe Biden himself has chosen of his free will to step down, then my thoughts are the same even if he didn't. I hope he has a nice retirement. It, it is nice to see that he's no longer going to be an elder of case sock puppet for the Liberal Party. And I'm honestly just happy that he get, now gets to spend his time playing more golf. Maybe he and Trump can go on that game that they talked about during their debate. Now, uh, I think the unfortunate thing is, and this is a conspiracy, but how much do we really want to bet that Biden is going to get another day to enjoy golf? or anything for that matter, a at least on Earth, that is. And here's how I've come to this conclusion that I'm alluding to. His son, the laptop holder that he is, has come out with his own statement about his father, and I'll read this out here. Ahem. For my entire life, I've looked at my dad in awe. How could he suffer so much heartache and yet give so much of whatever remained of his heart to others? Not only in the policies that he has passed, but in the individual lives that he has touched. Over a lifetime, I have witnessed him absorb the pain of countless everyday Americans who he's given his personal phone number to because he wanted them to call him when they were hurting, when their last hopes were slipping through their hands. That unconditional love has been his North Star as a president and as a parent. He is unique in public life today in that there is no distance between Joe Biden the man and Joe Biden the public servant of the last 54 years. I'm so lucky every night I get to tell him I love him and to thank him. I ask all, ask all Americans to join me tonight in doing the same. Thank you Mr. President, I love you dad. And how does this bring to question Biden's safety? Well, it doesn't in truth but if we look down below that post a lot of people are asking a synopsis of why isn't hunter being pardoned and then it got me thinking and lord knows what happens when i start thinking i start diving into the dark corners of life and yeah the question is why wouldn't biden pardon his own son he has the power and he's his own father now Perhaps it is because Biden is giving that fatherly love of, now you have to face the consequences, but 
If Biden truly felt like the Republicans are voting in a convicted felon, then why would he be so pressed to pardon his son from his crime? It just seems really suspect to me. But that is all I have to go off of from here. Which, if I'm right, and I'm willing to bet a couple loonies on it, I'll be saying rest in peace with a moment of silence. On other news, we've got a bumbling Kamala who has now stepped up to replace him in this election race. And why must I degrade her by calling her bumbling? Because she speaks just as well as Biden did. Here, uh, take a listen. We are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you. this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And look. All I have to say in response to that is something that is much more eloquently put. Trump 2024. He, although much older than Kamala, is still able to piece together a string of memory into speech that makes cohesive sense. And look, I'll just show you clips of how Kamala is quite literally much worse than Biden. As surprising as that isn't. Congresswoman Gabbard, you took issue with Senator Harris confronting Vice President Biden at the last debate. You called it a, quote, false accusation that Joe Biden is a racist. What's your response? I want to bring the conversation back to the broken criminal justice system that is disproportionately negatively impacting black and brown people all across this country today. Now, Senator Harris says she's proud of her record as a prosecutor and that she'll be a prosecutor president, but I'm deeply concerned about this record. There are too many examples to cite, but she put over 1,500 people in jail for marijuana violations and then laughed about it when she was asked if she ever smoked marijuana. She blocked evidence. She blocked evidence that would have freed an innocent man from death row until the courts forced her to do so. She kept people in prison beyond their sentences to use them as cheap labor for the state of California. And she fought to keep cash you, bail system in place that impacts poor people in the worst kind of way. Thank you, Congresswoman. Uh, Senator Harris, your Biden hasn't even let his own son go. Whereas Kamala has almost gotten someone who is innocent killed. I can't even believe that I'm fighting for Biden here, but it is true. Kamala is objectively worse than Biden. And then he here's another post showing that once again, Trump is much better than Biden and Kamala. I think we'll do fine. Donald, what do you think about all this? You're a developer. You've built buildings all your life. Well, there's never been anything like this. It's disgraceful. And I hope we attack fast. I hope we find out who it is and go fast. Okay. Thanks. Why do you want to come down here today? I have about 100 men working down here, so just to spur them on. Hi, folks. Hi, folks. I have over 100 men out, and I hear doing an amazing job, so I just want to give them some support. These are men from here at the moment? Yeah. Men from my company, we have another hundred coming in a little while. And how long have they been down here? They've been down here for about a day and a half. What so have you talked to other developers? Are they donating their time, their their men's work? Well, I like hope that? they are. I haven't really focused on that, but we have a lot of people coming down here and a lot of people down here now and they're brave guys. A couple of them got hurt, but we're uh, I'm just wanna spur them on a little bit. What did you think when you heard about this? I was just down to ground zero. Ground zero is a disaster. Uh, I've never seen anything like this. I hope we act very quickly. I hope we find out who did it and act accordingly Mr. and quickly. Do you have any plans to donate money to the Widows and Children's Fund for the fallen firefighters? We've certainly been. I've done it over the years and it certainly sounds like a good idea. And look, I think the bigger picture in this whole thing is, isn't it just perfectly suspect how just after the Miss Trump 2024 situation, all of a sudden Biden catches COVID, and then the media covers his illness as if getting COVID is just as bad as being nearly missed? Wouldn't it be just the creme de la creme for pulling heartstrings to then learn that Biden supposedly passed from his COVID illness? And then be even more heart pulling that the fact that old Joe died while serving our country sounds much like the whole entire take a bullet for our country, just a lot more watered down, even though the media would tell you differently. I don't know. Y'all tell me down below. Does my hypothesis sound insane? Because I really don't think so. But maybe y'all disagree. But uh, to wrap this up, a lot of y'all wanted a 
longer form of video compared to my shorter videos so let me know if you like this by telling me down below but on more important information when elections come by vote conservative so that these liberal antics of causing problems and potentially removing old joe don't continue to happen and i really don't know how that isn't convincing enough it is a simple way to alleviate the stupidity in government, and it also moves America to becoming great again. And if you agree with that, then hit that like button. And then if you want to listen to more daily news, then hit that subscribe button to join an independent conservative piece of YouTube media that talks about stuff going on all over North America. Either way, though, I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, have a good one.